Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be a quick preview to the Battle of California between the Goals and the Ontario Reign. There were some technical difficulties the third time trying this one. As the Ontario Reign were one of the entire best teams in the AHL, as they were able to finish with 91 points to the Goals finishing with 63 points. The Reign are buckets ahead of the Goals. The Goals have a very good young team with Lucas Elvenis. They have Limoges as a rookie, obviously. They have Brandon Tracy as a rookie. Uh, Bruyard, Hunter Drew had some experience. Uh, Perot, O'Regan had some experience. So they have some cats there that can get it done. Uh, Brulard on defense is also a very solid defenseman. Carrick, they just don't have the best. They have a lot of more jump up on the play, like Rafferty, Carrick, uh, Brulard, than they do fantastic defensive defenders. Um, Jacob Larson is a pretty good defensive defenseman. Dostal's kind of just been the man, the myth, the legend in Cage. If he can step up because it's a three-gamer, you never freaking know, then maybe they could do it, but I don't see it. The Ontario Reign's talent is lethal, and that's why they were one of the best teams in the league. Um, from even going all the way down to the Brett Suiters, who's been around the block for a minute, the Tyler Maddens, who's just a very intelligent player that really knows how to play the game of. Uh, TJ Tunning, who's a former MVP, is just an absolute stud in the AHL. Anderson Dolan, Ferg for game. I mean, they have it. They have Valeta and Nett, who's great. Even Lethmon was great for the few games he played. Horanic was great in the few games he played. Sparks is a good veteran. Lucas Parks could be good over time. Ingram could be good over time. So they got good goaltending up there, but I would think they would run with Valeta. I would have to take the, the, this one's a quick series preview for me because I think the goals are going to make this competitive. I do because they were a very competitive team this entire season. It's just. They were the seventh place team and the last place team in this division to make it for a reason. They're a little bit ways away yet, where the Ontario Reign are there in the Calder Cup contention team. So that's why that com that's why they're going to make it. They built this team up over the years. Their system's a little bit ahead, and um, w that's what you're seeing this season by it. And it's not really also. I maybe I should say their system's a little bit ahead, but their team building in terms of the AHL is a little bit heavy because. They have the young guys like the Fagamos that play good, the Tyler Maddens that play good, the Gaunces that play good, but then TJ Tyne, and they brought in Martin Furk, who had a great AHL season. So you're able to have that mixed with your youngsters. That goes bunches. The goals don't have those studs mixed in with the youngsters. They got some very good guys mixed in with the youngsters, but you're not going to match Furk and Tynan, and, and you just have a team that's building up right now. It's not there yet. They're not going to win this series. I'm definitely taking the Ontario rank. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Links are subscribed down below or up above in the easy-to-use widget to keep the channel growing to 250 or more by the start of June.